festivities and death meet at the beginning of spring. So, this is how they celebrate their Passover. Where are they taking them? To Golgotha. It is a site for capital executions. There are three criminals, two thieves, and a man from Galilee called Jesus, an instigator according to the high priest Caiaphas. But many here in Jerusalem followed him and loved him. He announced the coming of a kingdom that was not of this world. He spoke of making the blind see, giving freedom to the oppressed and justice to the poor. Dangerous words, Rufus. Freedom is a commodity that cannot even be found in Rome these days. I wish I'd known him better. I want to see him die. Golgotha, you said? Yes. Where the people dispose of the rubbish, Jerusalem carries out its executions. I'll give you a guard. Do not fear, Rufus. It's not necessary. I want to go alone. Take care of him.
watch where you're going. You saved others, now save yourself. Yes. His disciples gone. They have all disappeared, escaped. They have left him alone. Well, if the soldiers get them, they'll crucify them as well. Whoever tosses the highest number can have it. All right. The scriptures have been fulfilled. It is written, they shared out my clothing among them. They cast lots for my clothes. They've been losing blood since the sixth hour but are still alive. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Aren't you the Christ? Aren't you the Messiah? If you are the Christ, Save yourself, save us too! Be quiet! Have you no fear of God? Our execution is justified because of what we have done. But he has done nothing wrong. Jesus. Jesus. Remember me when you enter into your kingdom. In truth, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise.
Your friends in the temple have done this. My son, what could I do? They were all against me. They paid people to ask Pilate to crucify him. He told us, I will return to him who sent me. He told us everything, but we didn't understand him. I want to move closer. I want to hear his breathing. Stop, woman. Let her go. She's his mother. some water and vinegar. Hey! 
This man was truly the son of God. We must go now. I will not leave him. I will never leave him. Crucifixion was a form of torture as well as a death penalty. It was perhaps first used by the Persians. Rarely used in Greece, it was widely used by the Carthaginians and above all by the Romans. Usually preceded by flagellation, crucifixion was the most cruel and painful death penalty. Causing great pain to the victim but not causing death immediately, it left the victim conscious moment by moment, often day after day, of the slow destruction of his vital resources. Rendered even weaker by the bleeding from the nail wounds, by infections, and the traumatic after effects of the flagellation and the hammering in of the nails. Jesus' crucifixion was done in the Roman fashion, not allowing for any comfort to the condemned man. According to the Jewish custom, however, Jesus is offered an intoxicating drink made of wine and gall. Jesus refuses it after a small sip. From the cross, Jesus sees a crowd of curious onlookers. Among them, he recognizes, one by one, those who had followed him and loved him during his mission. They are present to comfort him. As the torture slowly brings Jesus closer to death, we hear a few words from the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Seeing his mother at the foot of the cross and near her, John the disciple he loved, according to tradition he addressed Mary, saying, Woman, this is your son. To the disciple, this is your mother. From that moment the disciple took her to live with him. Jesus then promises paradise to the robber next to him who proclaims Jesus' innocence. At the ninth hour, in the greatest moment of suffering, Jesus cries out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, 
My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Later he groans. I'm thirsty. He has given a sponge soaked with vinegar on a hyssop stick and held up to his mouth. At the end he says, it is accomplished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit and died. The veil in the temple was torn right down the middle. The earth shook and the Roman soldier at the foot of the cross was troubled. The evangelists Matthew and Mark record that when the soldier saw what had taken place, he gave praise to God and said, in truth, this was a son of God. Also, Luke the evangelist puts these words in the mouth of the Roman soldier. This was a great and good man. In those last days before his passion and death, Jesus had said, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. Oh, oh, oh. 